Hi, so the next assignment is looking at creating a poster or a visual representation of, of what we're now thinking zombies look at and are like. So if you have a look on the website, I've actually got under this assignment a short video about whether zombies can run fast or not. And there are two schools of thought on that, depending on which writer you look at studying. But um, you've got your slow zombies and your fast zombies. This video sort of explains in a fun way what the difference is between them and whether what is more likely. So you've got that. You've also got um, a lovely picture of me looking like a zombie that I've got from an app. And I've also included a heap of iPhone apps that are to do with zombies. Um, and if I'm around, I can take you through. I've got a few on my phone and we've looked at a few in some of my other classes, but just going onto the App Store, even the Android App Store, and doing a search for zombies can often give you a bit of a idea about what zombies are like. And um, I've also included on the website some posters that some of my other classes have done as well. So what we're looking for is an overall idea about what we think our zombies are like, so that we can use that information later on. So looking at the actual assignment sheet, I want you to create a poster that shows us what your zombie or your idea of a zombie is like. Now I want you to include on there at least one image of a zombie, so it can be an image from a movie or a Google search. Be a little careful and make sure that it's actually an appropriate picture that we can stick up in the classroom, but it is going to be a picture of a zombie, so you know let's not get too precious about it. But we need a picture of a zombie there. Um, I want you to write down a minimum of three words that describe a zombie. So some of those describing words. I want three sentences that describe how you think a zombie moves. We're looking at three words that talk about what a zombie can or can't do. So we had a discussion in our, one of our classes um, when I first taught this unit about whether zombies can actually climb or not. Um, if you have watched The Walking Dead, in the very first series, there are zombies that are able to climb over fences, but by the whatever series we're up to now, they've lost that ability to climb fences. And depending on what movies and things you're exposed to, sometimes zombies can do things and sometimes they can't. There was also a whole discussion about whether they can walk underwater or not, so there's a whole lot of things that you can think about that you can put on your map about what you think. And there really is no right or wrong. It's just about what you think a zombie can and can't do. Um, we then need at least three other words on there that describe zombies. It can be how they look, how they sound, how they smell, um, any other words that help describe what the zombie looks like. We need a neat poster that's easy to read and when you design posters you're really looking at designing a poster that can be read and seen from a reasonable distance. That's the idea of a poster is to get someone's attention so they go up to have a look at it and read more. So any writing on the poster needs to be clear and easy to read um, and things like making sure there's a clear heading on the poster as well so that people know what the poster is about. Um, and making sure that generally the poster looks good. So any p pictures and things that you put on there, make sure that they're clear, they're cut out nicely and they look good. So the information on the assignment sheet gives what is a minimum. So you can obviously include more detail in there and your teacher will give you more precise detail about exactly what they want on their poster. But as a general overview, you should have at least those things on your poster when you hand it up. Thank you.